U.S. airstrike has taken out Iran's top security and intelligence commander, Major General Qasem Soleimani, in Iraq. Closed circuit television captured the moment the airstrike took out the general's car at the Baghdad airport, which marks a major escalation in ongoing tensions with Iran. And already, there are protests in that country and calls from Iran's supreme leader for retaliation against America. Now, in response, oil prices have spiked, global stock markets are down, and World War III is trending on Twitter, and thousands of additional U.S. troops are now being deployed to the Middle East. East. And I want to make this clear before we get into this. If you don't know who Soleimani is or Iran foreign policy relations, you're not alone. It's kind of a big deal and it's a chaotic thing. Just know this guy is a bad guy. He kills hundreds of Americans. He was planning to kill more. The only thing we're saying is, and the question is that I ask you guys is, was this just for re-election because it was done so hastily without anybody sort of having a plan? I can't imagine it being just for re-election because as we all know at the table, Trump is not a warmonger. He's one that stays away from fights, and I mean, fighting in war. And so that's why I'm looking at this and saying there must have been something that we don't know going on to make him act so quickly. Now, Soleimani recently did kill somebody that was a, um, an American in um, Iraq. Contractor, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, in Iran. Um, in December. Mm -hmm. And so we have to remember that American life was lost. He also provided tons of the equipment that was used to kill Americans during the Iraq war. So we have to remember that this man is not a good person, like you said, and he did cause death, death to what Trump says is millions, what I know to be his hundreds of Americans. And so this is long overdue. In my opinion, the Trump, um, Trump acted hastily and did what he needed to do. But if I'm, the, if I'm the Democratic senator and I'm on the Committee for Foreign Relations and I'm not even told that we have two major airstrikes on the basically vice president or top general of Iran without any kind of planning and when you ask for a plan he tweets out a picture of like a pixelated flag does it not make you think that perhaps this was done for another reason and I give you Trump's own words from 2011 maybe this is why he did it take a look our president will start a war with Iran because he has absolutely no ability to negotiate he's weak and he's ineffective so the only way he figures that he's going to get reelected and as sure as you're sitting there is to start a war with Iran. I mean, when I, when you see this, you think about his whole maximum pressure campaign, which he kind of began when we, when we were withdrawed from the Iran nuclear deal. And I look at two things, because like you said, he is not a warmonger. He doesn't really want to go to war with, with these countries. But at the same time, he has to show that our military is strong, and he has to show that he is strong when it comes to foreign policy and dictators, terrorism, that sort of thing. So to kind of reiterate what you were saying, this guy, Soleimani is a big deal. This is a big win for him when it comes to being uh, uh, strict on, on these generals and, and these terrorists because people can be like, people on Twitter are like, oh, it's like killing bin Laden. No, it's not killing bin Laden or, or a head of ISIS. This guy can be looked at as a vice president in he that country. He also can be looked at as the mastermind behind all the terror that's going on in the Middle East. And so I just think that Democrats and Republicans both have said in the past that the world would be a better place without this man there. And, and I so agree now with you on this.